Sea turtle nesting season starts today here in Northeast Florida. While it's not a sea turtle, the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office found this gopher turtle on Crescent Beach and placed them back in the dunes since these turtles cannot swim. Whether you live along a beach or you're just visiting, you'll need to make a few changes over the next few months. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy explains what people can do to protect these turtles as they nest and hatch. Sea turtle nesting season kicks off. Experts are reminding beachgoers to do their part to keep turtles and their hatchlings safe. The main concern is that you leave the beach the way you found it. Kevin Brown works with the beach's sea turtle patrol. He says during nesting season, it's important for people to pick up any trash, especially plastics. Avoid leaving behind any beach chairs or tents at the end of the day and fill in any holes left in the sand. That kind of hits two stages, which is the mother coming in to nest can get caught in the hole and not make it. And then during emergency season, when the hatchlings go out, um, the hatchlings can get caught in the holes and not make it back to the water. Last season, Brown says they had nearly 45 nests. He urges people living along out. the beach to turn their lights off but at night to help turtles get to the ocean safely. Natural light emits off of the ocean. Um, even without a full moon, you get the natural reflection. So it is their biological indicator to go to where that natural reflection is. And when you have um, alternative light sources, um, they, they will tend to go into the dunes and up on the street. Sea turtle nesting season lasts through the end of October. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, the local station. If you see a turtle or hatchling in danger during nesting season, there is an emergency number you can call. We've posted that number on our website, newsforjax.com.